Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the long awaited how to series and how to filter and purify your rainwater. I'll be going through step by step how I built this system. This is not necessarily the correct way or the most efficient way to build this system, but is the way that I built this system. From this video, you will be able then to take what I've done and implement it into some of your own ideas and maybe find a more efficient and faster way to do this. In this video, I will also include my mistakes and I'll go over and talk about each of the mistakes that I made. This video will only be how to do this. It will not include the parts and pricing. I have already made a separate video that includes parts and pricing. A link to that video will be provided in the video description below. Here what I'm doing is putting Teflon tape over the threads of the Rusco spin down filter. It's important to do this so you don't get any leaks. So after I do that, what I'm doing now is attaching the clean out valve to the Rusco spin down filter. When attaching these valves, you want to make sure that you're only tightening them to hand tight. Tightening them tighter than hand tight could strip the threads. Hand tight only is sufficient. Here's a quick look at what the three filters look like with the clean out valves attached to them. The next step is to insert, insert and glue reducers into your Rusco spin down filters. This is a quick look of what the reducers look like in the filters. The middle one will have a reducer, but in this picture it's just to show you the difference of what it looks like with the reducer and without the reducer. Make sure to have a towel handy to remove excess glue and you'll also need PVC cement and PVC primer. The primer will go on first. Here's one of the mistakes that I made. I'm putting glue directly on. Luckily uh, everything worked out for me. But you will want to put your purple primer on first and then put your glue on and insert your reducers. So here I am uh, putting glue inside the Rusco spin down filter and putting glue on the reducer. Here's a closer look of putting glue inside the Rusco spin down filter. And now putting glue on the reducer. In this shot here, I probably should have put a little bit more glue. Again, I was lucky. Everything turned out to be okay. Make sure you press the reducer all the way in and you also press and hold for a few seconds to ensure a good seal. One tip that I can give you is to work quickly when working with PVC glue, especially if you're using this blue glue it dries relatively quickly. If it gets too dry, it will not have a proper seal. On this next step, we'll be creating the small PVC pieces that connect to the floor flange. The floor flange is what connects your water unit to the plywood. I did make a mistake on this step, and the mistake was cutting these PVC pieces too long. You'll see in a few minutes where I go back and I cut these pieces shorter. And again, you'll want to put your purple primer on first. You won't want to directly glue like I'm doing here. The adapter you see is a three-quarter inch slip to threaded adapter. I will be putting an adapter on each side 
and I'll be making a total of three of these pieces. What I'm doing here is now inserting the small PVC pieces I made onto the floor flange and this is what will hold the water unit up off of the plywood. I have to cut them shorter because here it's just too tall and when I set everything up I notice it will not connect to the pump like I want it to. We'll get back to that fix in a minute, but for now what I'm doing is inserting elbows into the Rusco spin down filter. This is the very first uh, Rusco spin down filter. It is a 250 mesh. That is what's inside this filter. Okay, here I am putting the glue into the Rusco spin down filter. Again, you'll want to press and hold and make sure this gets a good fit and that it doesn't pop out any. Because once you glue these, they're in. I mean, if you mess up, you have to get a whole new filter. Now you can see the board just now starting to come together. It's taking shape a little bit here. Now I'm putting this split T. I'm not sure if that's really what it's called, but that's what I call it. Split T on top of the floor flange mount. Now I'm cutting another three quarter inch PVC pipe. This is approximately 18 inches long. I didn't even, I didn't measure it. I actually cut it longer than what I needed because I wasn't sure the exact length it was going to be. This will end up connecting to the Rusco spin down filter. Now we're going to prepare the pump. These are three quarter inch threaded pieces or threaded elbows with a barb on the other end. And that barb is an inside diameter of three quarter inch. Just like the clean out valves on the Rusco spin down filter, you want to make sure that these are only hand tight. The threads are plastic and tightening them too much could strip the threads. Now I'm just placing the pump where I think it will go and just sizing everything up. Here's where I notice, hey, I made this PVC piece on the floor flange too long. It's too tall. Now I'm going to go back and fix my mistake. I'm removing these small PVC pieces that we made earlier and I'm cutting one end off. The amount of PVC pipe left now is the perfect length that I need. Basically whenever I put the the second adapter back on, the new ones now, they will just about be touching one another. I'll give you a, a shot of that here in a second and you'll see what I mean. So now I'll glue all the new adapters back on. 
They're the exact same adapter, except for now I'm going to have a shorter piece. These adapters basically touch each other now. There's a small, small gap, maybe an eighth of an inch, where you can see the PVC pipe in there. This turns out to be the perfect height. I'm hand tightening these now, and then I'm screwing this to the plywood only to tighten the adapter onto the floor flange. I'll remove it after that and, and put it in its proper place. The reason I'm doing this is I'm not exactly sure where it's going yet. So I'm just getting it tight, then I'm going to move it over there to your right by the Rusco spin down filter. So I know this piece is going somewhere in the area that I had just set it down. Once I figure out exactly where it's going to go, I'll then screw it to the plywood. What you just saw me do was uh, dry fit the Rusco spin down filter onto that PVC pipe. I don't want to glue anything until I know exactly where it's going to go. So to determine exactly where everything's going to go, I'm putting this the hose. This is a, a three quarter inch braided uh, clear hose. I'm putting this on the pump and I'm cutting the links longer than I know I need them. I'll cut them shorter when I know exactly the length I need them. Here I am, just trying to figure out everything in my head. I'm not really the type of person that writes a whole bunch of stuff down, it makes a whole bunch of plans. I'm just kind of learning as I go. Alright, this switch that I'm showing you here, this is a switch you can use for your pump. However, in this case, it's just for show, to show you that's where you would put this switch if you want one. So what I'm doing here is cutting a few PVC pieces to tee off of the Rusco spin down filter. That piece that just hit the plywood there that fell, that's where that T will be going. I'm also just figuring out how this valve here is going to work making sure it's not going to hit anything. We'll come back to that later, but for now we're going to put this T on the, the Rusco spin down filter. I'm gluing one end of the T and one end of a PVC pipe. Its length, I know it's too long right now. I'm going to cut it after I insert it to the T. Here I'm checking the length of the pipe that I need. I'm cutting just enough off where I, I, it'll fit flush into that 90 on the Rusco spin down filter. So I'm leaving approximately 3 quarters to 1 inch of PVC pipe. It's better to leave a little too much than to leave not enough. So now what I'm going to do is glue this T onto this 90 here. This is the conclusion of part one. Here's a quick shot of what we've done so far in part one. Check out parts two and part three to finish up this system. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.